Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sprite145 back and my apologies for my inactivity. I've just been incredibly busy doing other things. There's other games that I don't record. There's playing cricket. I mean, I might be finished college and stuff, but I've got so much to do in terms of just other stuff. I've got my cricket training on a Tuesday evening. I've got cricket matches Saturday and Sunday and generally Saturday I don't come back till 3 in the morning on a Sunday and then Sunday I'm up at goodness knows what time to go back to the cricket club to play another match of cricket and well that's just me anyway here's the nuke with the FT-1000 but I'm not going to talk about any of that shit I'm going to talk about the law, crime, punishment and, and stuff. If you're watching one of those TV cop shows, as you do when you're bored on a whatever night it was, Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't know. And I feel the, the British justice system's a load of shit, in all fairness. <coughs> it's a proven fact that offenders, once they get let out of prison, are more likely to reoffend. So there need to be alternative ways or ways to stop them reoffending. like you know we don't want people offending and reoffending and going back into prison and costing everyone money you know it's just pointless and one argument I have that will come to fruition, fruition later is one that human rights and the Geneva Convention and everything will just say no you're not allowed to do that and well to be honest I couldn't give a fuck because they've gone and committed a crime they've been sentenced, convicted, given a prison sentence, whatever they have now thrown their human rights everything that they did live for out the window one way to stop rapists reoffending if you can see where I'm going here is to cash straight to them it is in no way the right thing to do but it would certainly deter rapists if they're convicted they ain't going to be raping anyone anymore are they um but that's just that's just the way i think i'm it's not ever going to happen no one would ever ever no government would ever authorize that or legalize it a way to stop murderers well, death penalty, bring that back. Again, I highly doubt any government would legalise the death penalty again. It does seem a shame because there are some very, very dangerous people. Kidnappers, child rapists, those sort of things that probably do need to be put down for the safety of everyone in the world or in the country. Um, <coughs> and that sort of comes back to the eye for an eye stuff in the Bible but you know again people aren't going to agree with this I, I would honestly like to know what people think about this commentary in particular as it's a very very controversial commentary um, um, let's see um, here, here's one for you okay so while I was watching this cop show, I'll start from the beginning. Traffic cops are going to pull, I don't know, it must have been 20 odd. 20 odd guy over for not having no insurance on his um, motorbike because of their nice pro leak computer scanner things that tell you that he's got no insurance. And. So, yeah, he's, they're chasing him. They find him or find him back at his house and you know they arrest him or take him into custody and just talk to him about and actually they talk to him in his house and say why why did you drive away from us if you got insurance is that any other no thing is he drove away from the place at the same time so the police are going to chase him anyway they then get a nice strong smell of cannabis from the roof 
the roof, what, the roof, the loft, attic, however you want to put it. And so they um go and investigate the attic. They've got a cannabis farm with about four fully grown plants in there. They arrest them for it. The CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service that we have in England, says there is insufficient evidence to charge them for cultivating their own cannabis plants. How does that one work out? Bearing in mind this is on TV, it's recorded, there is not enough evidence to prove that they are growing cannabis. It, it seems shit to me. <coughs> End of the day, I think the driver was disqualified and given a community order for his, um... No insurance. <laughs> so, that, that's a good one there. How fucked up the justice system is. I don't know what it's like in America or other countries, I just know, speaking from English point of view, that English justice system is... It, there's room for improvement. I think there's room for improvement in a lot of things in life. But getting rid of criminals and whatnot is a big must. Um, <coughs> well, obviously, no one likes criminals. Then what? What else is there? Immigration, kind of to do with the police, but immigration are their own service in Britain anyway. There's the immigration service, fire, police, ambulance, um, armed police slash army, and bomb disposal crap and whatnot, and the special service SAS. But that's going on to another matter. Um, so immigration laws. So many people are getting into Britain illegally, whereas it's on the back of a, a truck or whatnot. People are getting into Britain illegally. But the immigration laws are fucking retarded. They can't deport them unless they have travel documents. If they didn't get into the country legally, or even with false documents, how the fuck are you going to be able to deport them? And then they are put in on bail, they give them bail, and they fucked off again within a day. So, you know, we've lost. And then he's gone illegally working again. Just find a way, kick him out of the country. They don't need travel documents because they don't have them. Which is... Ugh, frustrates me. Now I know in other countries to get into Britain, so when you go and apply for a visa to get into Britain from another country, there are aptitude tests that you have to fulfill. You have to be able to fulfill the criteria to satisfy your clearance officer that you are allowed into Britain and that you're not going to illegally work. So, um, some of that criteria is being able to understand basic English. Do you have basic English skills? I Do you understand basic English? Do you understand the conditions of your visa, do you... what qualifications do you own for this job? Those sort of things. And that's fair enough, if people can qualify for that, I'm happy for them to be in the country. But people that don't qualify for those criteria, and fuck off and go do their own thing, are annoying, and ugh, my days! Piss take now. That's my rant over, pretty much, about immigration stuff. That first guy I didn't shoot because I was aware that there are more people around on the UAV. Didn't want to alert them to my presence. So, now one last thing. Is you're the emergency services around of All three have been called out. So the fire brigade, the police and the ambulance, yes? At a roundabout. They do exist. Um, who has priority? 
I have my order, I'm not going to tell you my order, of what I think is the right order. The priority for who goes across the roundabout first, in terms of fire brigade, police and ambulance. And I sponge about two spaz 12 shots to call in a nuke. So, um, I'd like to know, especially what you think of this um, commentary. So who would have priority at the roundabout and Car the laws and stuff that I mentioned. Bags. And once again, I'm apparently a hacker. This has been Sprite145 with Nuke246. And... and 45 for 9 isn't terrible. The F2000 is a shit gun, but hey. Sprite145, wishing you a happy, good day, and peace out, guys.